Hey, what's up, man? How you been? Fantastic. Right on. Pretty well, thanks. What have you been up to? Lying in the grass. Yeah. Reading. Writing. Um, what have you been writing about? You got like a, a story or a poem you've been writing or what? Uh, it's, a, it's a novel. Oh, okay. It's called uh, Jesus at Camp, Letters Home from Boy Skeptic. And it's an epistolary novel. And uh, it explores um, different ways that Jesus can manifest uh, within a boy's camp. Um, and it's not, it's not like a real Bible camp where uh, love is stomped out. It's more like, what are the different ways that we can be free and open as people, as perceived through the children's eyes, as uh, this sort of... Um, Tilted Jesus in, in my writing goes about his life and his, his uh, What do you mean by tilted Jesus? Yeah, <laughs> he's gay in this story. Yeah. So he's got like a different... Uh, is he really considered Jesus then? Or is it just... Are you trying to make a variation of Jesus? Or are you trying to call another guy just like... Some people are called Jesus. So that's where, that's that, where I, I are don't you just really... using it as just another name? Right, that's where I don't like to really draw a distinction. Okay. In my writing, I want people to kind of come to their own conclusions. So what are you trying to portray then? Since yeah. you're going to come to a conclusion. What I, conclusion I, are you yes, looking for? I'm just trying to portray yeah. that um, our quirks and our differences are like the most important thing that we can accept and build off of. And then, if we can kind of just wipe away, wipe away the layer of good and bad, uh, then it's really no, like, distinction between me and you and you and me. Um, what, if, what if I think that I live somewhere else? Meaning, actually, my location. But what do you mean by that? Compared to yours. Like, what if I think that I live on a motionless level plane and you may think that you live on a ball holding well, out of space see, I mean do you think I can possibly relate to the story that you're trying to portray you wanna know what, what is your foundation of the story you want to know something funny Joe so after I met you I don't remember your name Joshua way. Joshua yeah yeah after I met you I actually incorporated um, uh, so, like just allusions to flat earth theory and how uh, the Jesus in this story conceives of the world in that way. Um, I mean, I think, I think it really does not matter what you think about what's going on here. I think it if you rely on the foundation that uh, we're just here on a planet to learn what it is to be human and then eventually come together again. What, what, if it, what if the idea of not feeling it's important to know where you're coming from, what if that has to do with not knowing where you actually are right now? What if that like derived from, what if that thought derived from that? Can because you, can you restate yeah, that? because of if you think, I'm saying you're coming from the point of view. Why does it matter? What does it have to do with what story I'm trying to portray? Knowing where you come from, uh, what does see, it have to okay. do with anything? So, so I'm saying, but what if? Wait, there's <coughs> one one whole truth of what you're saying, and if or what if the person asking the question, or even others, what if they came to? What if they didn't know where they were, and that's why they're saying that? Why does it matter? Maybe they don't okay. know where they so, are. So you're saying, like, what are the dangers of complacency and, and forgetting to question your doubts? No, I'm trying to say, what if we were technically programmed to not care about where we came from hmm. because they kind of belittled it and said that there's so many other universes to the point where we think we're insignificant? 
So now we don't yet actually care about where we come from. Right. So what if those aren't your own thoughts? Well, okay, yeah, that's that's where I've been reading this. What if they're programming you with their own knowledge? Yeah, so I, that, and I'm, I'm on board with uh, yeah. I think most of that. Uh, I'm reading this book called um, A Course in Miracles. Okay. And it's essentially like channeling. Are you familiar with it? Yeah, I don't. I wouldn't get too involved in channeling though. Why is that? Because then you're inviting spirits into your no, vessel. This is, a, this is a channeling from Jesus Christ. He doesn't need to be channeled though. Well, I su I suppose. Well, that's this is a good this is a good question. It's very a good question. Uh, Okay, well, the, the part that I'm connecting on with you there is that in this book, it talks about how um, we've got uh, an ego, and then we've got, like, a Christ consciousness, and these are sort of, the, it's sort of like the perceived duality, and uh, the ego is sort of like, like you're saying, designed keep us from remembering who we truly are. Or not interested in looking to find out where we actually came from. Right, right. And I mean, that's part of like, I think that's part of the whole scheme. Mm -hmm. um, and also, I mean, part of the part of the fun and also the difficulties is working in your daily life with the higher power to figure out where did we come from and how do we how do we how do we turn this place more like that place um, every day? But what is that place? What, what do you mean? That place? Yeah. Um, I mean, I, I guess I would call that like spirit world or infinite intelligence or. Do you think there's a spirit world around us right now? Yeah. Like we're as if fish in an environment, so we're in some kind of an environment where there are entities around us right now, we just, because of our humanness, we're not a lot, we're not privy to seeing that spiritual world around us, and the only way that we can interact with that spiritual world is when we identify as a particular, um, identify with a particular spirit that has overcome that negative spirit world. When you say identify with Spirit well, I, I would say, like, I have professed that Jesus Christ is God, okay? Yeah. And then he forgave me of my sins, yeah. of my past and, uh, and my future. And so I have that particular, like, I guess, for lack of a better term, vibration in my, right. in my being. Yeah. So that now I separate myself because I identify myself as, for lack of a better term, a Christian. And so now I'm going to get spiritually attacked by other human beings who haven't identified themselves in a particular way. They're neutral. So they haven't vocally said that they're a follower of Christ. But if you haven't, then you're already in the world. So you're already doing what this world wants you to, to, to do without you knowing it. Right, you're, like an NPC, yeah. for example, right, you're yeah. just going, you're defending this place without you really knowing it. Right. So you haven't identified yourself as as a belief in anything. Right. You know, so yeah, I know what you're saying. so there is a spiritual world that's going on around us right now, right. but you're not aware of it until you actually make a choice. Yeah. Verbally. I, yeah, I, I, I agree. I mean, I think one of the one of the first. So isn't the kingdom of heaven inside then? Yeah. So what does that have to do with the, what's above us then, right? Because we can't go up to up above us anyways. Right, I mean, we can, like, sense it. Or we, can, we can have a... We what, can if have, we're, what, what if what we're sensing is actually right here? Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. I mean, I, I was just reading about quantum mechanics today, Okay. And mm -hmm. it's this article about a uh, mere reality. Right? And it talks about how our neutrons, our, our bodies and everything else, are oscillating between this reality and that reality, right? And I mean, like, if you, if you, if you get to a place where you are accepting Christ as, uh, the one true force, or whatnot, uh, the Christ, right, then, 
then you can kind of look at a tree and you can see the light in it. You can see the... You can see his fingerprints can, is what you're saying? Yeah, sort of yeah. fingerprints or just like the uh, the fun behind the, the mirror. I suppose. Meaning as if we, as our, ourselves, did not create such things that we are seeing, right? Meaning something else has created them. Yeah, uh, yeah. A greater power than yeah. us, right? Yeah. I mean... This is, but this is where this is where I, I feel as though we have sort of a um, we have a stake in co-creation, um, and if I if I can follow that, or if anyone can follow that that Christ conscious voice, they can uh, elude the system, or elude the fear, or elude the. Uh, the sense of unease. You know, the Matrix, so to speak? Yeah, yeah, it's sort of like that, but I mean, I don't, I don't really, I guess I don't really subscribe to the idea that there are, like, vicious machines coming after no. us. I mean, I, I guess, I guess from what, yeah. from what I've sensed, like, that, the Christ is, is the love, the Christ is the truth, and then everything else is the illusion. And, um, it's just about waking up every morning and realizing that. <laughs> but 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 I do like what you're saying about how like it's it's here the, 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 this this light. So I don't know. I I guess the duality is that we like to think that there are two worlds, right? And I read in the course in, of miracles uh, again is that um, once you start seeing light. Some sort of stop seeing bodies, and then bodies will kind of, I don't know, maybe fades in and out. Uh, and uh, the real world will show itself. Right. Why is it that you feel led to write that God manifests in the flesh as homosexual? Why do I feel that, right? Yeah. Um. That's an interesting question. I mean, well, that would imply that would imply that there's like something inherently wrong with homosexuality within the divine mind, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And I identify as like I identify as gay. You guys have any questions? And, what do you think? And it, it's it's interesting sure because is. I do wow. feel like the sense of like um, around that. What do you mean like round like um, maybe like a penny? But then again, but then again, man, I mean, I still have. Okay. Yeah. I still have like feelings. Like, what made you come to that well, conclusion? But I would rather How do you know for sure? Spend my time I plane and I saw another guy. So, I mean, <laughs> so it's pretty clear. To me, I mean, uh, do you have a picture of that or? No, you? no, with my own eye. Yeah. Okay, maybe maybe have you speak ever been more to what you're, you're saying. Well, I'm just here. saying, like, if if a creator was to create not. something and oh, to create it so that it continues to procreate, right? Once he when he oh, made to, in my opinion, just how it's laid out, right? If, There's male and female. So a male needs a female to procreate with, and vice versa, right? And so if everybody had the thought life of homosexuality, how would we as human beings continue to be able to procreate? So when you go in the air, right? Go ahead. With the and then, or you're going to see... What if he verbal? what if he threw other people testified that that's wrong to do. And what's the, what's so like what the, if the horizon the is always at dry level? Which um, it is, well, it's more fulfilling a lust a in the flesh the and the than looking at using when it, when it sexual intercourse as procreation. Because sex with another female can be so that means fun and, and feel good and everything. Then, and it can be an expression between a relationship and a covenant that you have. So you're but only the, you can only the, be the foundational yeah, reason yeah. of sex between so a man and a woman is to procreate. Here too, right? And the foundation level. of homosexuality would be to just to look out at feel good so and to get off and not... So there's saying, no end result that's positive. I have not. No, I'm trying to understand 
when have you seen so you're, that? You're, you're, you're have a picture or anything? Yeah, Honestly, when I go to the I have no issue at all. Anybody can do what they want behind closed doors with another adult. Fair enough. But if I was to, but if I was to convey my, I guess my issue with it is, why would a virus cause itself not to procreate? Or why would a bacteria cause itself to not procreate? Or why would a seed do something in its in and of itself to then not make another tree to then cast off seeds? To then procreate again. Since it's majority of water, well, I mean, how would it curve? Here. Yeah. The first one is. At what point would it curve if it um, were to? Have we ever seen water curve in our reality as a free air? Have, free have we ever seen it curve? Well, it's the sun. Yeah. Right. That's the idea, because right? The idea. Yeah. And to recognize Gravitational the around the sun and the sun's and like the same sphere as um, shape as the earth. So if. But how do we know the sun is actually a sphere? Have we been around the backside of it? Where I have felt, we're just I'm assuming. I'm sure the satellites have in order to take the measurements. I know about right certain felt, sun flares and spots. Um, it just seems to me if like uh, if the world was like this laid out, my own sexuality. you couldn't um, have different seasons of certain the regions of the world because that second tilt is twenty three and a half degrees. What is this purpose of? If it was tilt, tilt, then theoretically oh, the water no. would like spill yeah, out of the side. Or so are you thinking if if it were to be flat, are right, you thinking right. it would be flat like a disc floating in outer space? Is that what you're thinking? No. And, uh, so, think because you're right. you're saying there was a tilt, right? You're thinking there's yeah, a lot of flow. This is twenty three degrees. This is for uh -huh. different seasons and different parts of the Right. That's what they told us. But I'm I'm presenting this here. So I'm presenting this is flat in what shape then? This is like I see it's proven. It's round, but it's I it. need you to provide me proof of this. Right. Like this um, makes sense. This does not. Wait, wait. I'm so but confused on that. Is it like a like, like this type of thing tilted? No, it's actually the sun? not. No, I'm trying to see what you're thinking. I don't know. Well, I'm like, confused like, on if it's if it's flat like this. I mean, it's either like what's the tilt or what's his path is around the, error um, in the system. Or the system granted me. What if it was actually mm -hmm. uh, leveled and flat as if the ground you see here, and it possibly well, could go on infinitely? Yeah. How do you know how far it is it? Feeling? Do you perceive do it as more of a choice, or you were born that way? And if it were to be flat as this table here, uh, I mean, I could like kind of. How would we think it would be on a tilt, and why should it be on a tilt? Is it because of what we thought here? Even though the pictures they present of the ball Earth is never on a forty-five. I mean a. 23.4 degree tilt. Men, it's uh, it's never portrayed as that, even in the pictures they have shown. Sort of Ever, even now. if you go on yeah. NASA's I, website, I even when they show a 3D model of it spinning, it's never on a tilt. Yeah, it is. I think it. I it think feels we're like it feels more so like. We don't uh, feel yeah. it. They say so it. They, so the tilt is uh -huh. at such a massive scale, yeah. you won't yeah. even feel that. And if you show a picture, of it have you forgiven your mother? It's still at a tilt. It's just. You've tilted the picture so that it looks like it's not at the time. Well, so for anything that you any have maybe resentment towards so you're saying that the camera is positioned to the point where I, it, I, uh, the tilt is void? The easiest way is... I don't, okay. Should, can I see your phone? I so why is it that you I've feel really like you don't want to be around so women then? a picture, right? Okay. Well, let's say the picture is sideways like that. Now, like what if it... Well, it has to do with... Edit the photo for it not to be sideways. But why should they change what they say it that it is actually already? Why That's should they stuff. change it? It's okay. just easier to present to a mass, like, like mass of um, well, why? Like if they're presenting past, like, 10, 15, 20 years ago? No, like, why change it? It's, it's not oh, Okay, so you're it's under the impression that you're a new entity from, like, reincarnation. So it's normalized to a lot new. I'm just trying to ask you, why would they have to do something in Yeah, what if that's not true, though? What if you are who you are because you are a new soul in a vessel that is identified as, you know, your name, right? And your experiences here on this earth would draw you towards... A particular yeah. lifestyle, Winter which would go Australia. against your innate well, nature of why how you, you are here, is to procreate. How you now you can what? choose to be celibate, right? 
But to what choose to be entertained by than they said it what I feel would and be the fl- lust of the flesh, above us. just to so feel sky, satisfaction, so th- pretty much there's like no end flat. result in that then, but right? But what about the other planets then, that's like, keeping them you're, in gravity? Because my understanding is that the sun's larger yeah. force. Yeah. Planets, I mean, you can the take other planets that we've observed. other planets in the sky. I mean, can you if see those planets? Yes. Like that. They can see, you can see Mars, Venus, Mars, um, Uranus. How, um, how can I see with a telescope? The telescope. Right? Or your naked eye on some nights. Yeah, yeah. Like you can just look I up guess your eyes. So you're saying that if I look up, I can see a planet. Right? Yeah. Like it's not yeah, to me. It's where you are. But what does it look like, like when you look up at it? Like, <laughs> you mean it looks like a light in the sky? Is that what you're saying? No, it's like a spherical ball, kind of. Yeah, spherical ball. Uh, how do you explain eclipse? Have you ever seen an eclipse? It's very important. Then how does, yeah. how does... Similarly, how does that yeah. make sense? Well, I mean, it's important it to does, it, the moon is, be connected the with other human beings, sun, right? Sun, like, we, we like to be around like-minded individuals the same size. On, well, in that regard, the right? Are they also but they even if you could separate yourself I mean, from that, is it okay just to be single? How even know if they're a ball? And not, and not fill the flesh in that in that way? Right in front of us, we haven't been on the other side. Yeah. So how are we have a large source of Do you heat, want to have right? children someday? It's, it's large enough to, you know, shine down, provide heat, nutrients for a little bit. Shut up across your mind? Do you agree that energy yeah. is consumed? Do you feel like, like you're uh, making decisions now that would con- like, that would if I have cause conflict for you to have children it, in the like future if you continue to go down a path that does not involve... Procreation. You're speaking of kinetic energy, or just energy in general, like I mean, conservation of energy as a concept. Yeah, for sure. Mm-hmm. There, there's a form of energy. Yes. Okay. So, but little choices, like even if they're energy, very, very minute, equal up to a larger concern, picture, right? right? Yeah, potential yeah. electrical. Like the dot paintings, um, you know. Fire, like if you do a dot fire, painting, gas, eventually you're going to come to um, a, a you know a bigger picture, and you're going to see the image of what you had started with, right? Yeah, absolutely. So. Yeah. If that amount of energy is being mm-hmm. blocked by a spirit. Do you think the cause and effect of your choices now, size, how is not pursuing or, desi- or not desiring a relationship with a female, could cause you to lose you know that desire because in the future? It's, it's, well, that's touching the moon, right? If it's in, an, in the well, case that's of an eclipse, or not the higher power, right? The sun is being blocked by the moon. But what if he's allowing you to do what you want to do? Like. Yeah, no offense, but like for me, when oh, okay. I was in a They're, particular situation where I didn't want to be in a relationship with a female, let's say I have a hand. I right? feel he allowed me to or, eat pig slop and 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 right. choke me and with the negative the things that I wanted be to be surrounded by. Because that's a choice, yes. right? So, the South Pole so he's like, oh, okay, you like that? You want Actually, more? So that I start drowning myself in it, and then the, the results of that drowning become negative to where I can't come back from. So right. I have so this is it's not just a top view of this. It's not at all. And I'm just saying, I'm just trying to help it's not a top view maybe no. not warn you, but it's for lack of a better term, just kind of like they made a ball have a restraint of, here, which of pursuing this, first, which it is. this thought life what further and just because being like, hey, you know, God, what do you want me to do? And maybe he wants you to focus on why you no, want to make his son a homosexual. Lay right. right in front of him. We've never seen it curved to the exterior of a ball, ever. I mean, so how do you know what they're saying to you is true? I can get, okay. How do you know? So, so like, how's, how's the word? Does it fall off? Well, what? I, what my question is, though, is from magnetism. Electromagnetism? Or no, yeah. magnetism. Magnetism, like okay. North Pole and South Pole. Because right. they're two, like, real poles. But... As they say... Just, okay, I go ahead. Matt, I yeah. just, no, fair enough, right? Point, yeah, I sometimes we draw, we write out. Interacts, if it's somewhere I, I do verbal like, like diaries and stuff to help location, me vent, you know? Right? Because sometimes I don't want to share all my problems like with other people, units, but I just want to, you know, like to say it out loud it so that at least magnetism comes from the our creator can hear it. Why does it have to have anything? And then it just kind of like lets me vent, and then I go, I sleep I on it, and then I have a you know a different day the next day. Yeah, I think the south kind of like bottling you things up, you know, distance, type of thing. Yeah. You don't feel and letting it out. But. If I would, if I was to encourage you with anything, would be just to you say you don't feel this one as much. You know, if you're yeah, going as maybe you're just uh, down ponder on that thought of this one is weakened. if we were to However, be a, a society of human beings 
How do we continue to procreate well, if, if you know there is we do things that would cause us to not procreate? You know, even like pornography could be used as a means to, you know, a eugenics idea of making men not have a desire to be with a woman other than for just pleasure, right? And not procreation. There are two definitive charges positive that's um, what I'm where's the south pole then? Yeah, and if you have a positive charge and a negative so charge here, like that, when you're that, here, that, what happens? Mm -hmm. Or if you're here, is north now south because it's going to be pointing up here? Like it doesn't, it doesn't add up. But why are you looking for the negative and positive exactly. charge? What what is that trying? To, what is that going to do for you? That I mean, just the directionality. Right? Is that is that trying to prove? How the sun works for you? Like, what, what is that? What are you trying to prove? No, I'm just trying to make sure the compasses, like you know, like when they sail ships, they only have so many tools. It's like you have to know. Yeah, I mean, be fruitful and multiply, right? Because the poles. you know, enjoy the your your if it was just your land and the fruits of your entity, labor. One area but where then that through that, but that we procreate so that there. then we can but continue to spread our seed throughout. In my south, opinion, right, an infinite plane. Even when people were going south, like if they left from Europe, going toward the that Africa, just, that to that South to America, that. the compass still worked. Uh, yes, but what if they were over that here say, it, and the compass was pointing to York, but from where they were standing? It didn't seem that it was pointing right. Because they, you can't see exactly where you are when you where you are. You can't see from above. You don't. You just see from where you are right now. So and if it is pointing in that direction, how do you know that is actually south or north? Even though the compass says that it's pointing north. So the flaw in that. I'm trying to say, how do you know? The flaw in that is that you're assuming that there's only one point of magnetism. There could be. And so the reason why that can't be is because we know from experimentation that there's two points, there's two forms of magnetism, positive and, south, positive and negative charges, right? So if we have a positive charge, we need a negative um, charge as well. Like that, there it's a duality. Well, I mean, can't he, have he created, power, you know, this is my so, opinion, right? He created them both male and female. If we're saying right? this is north. And this so, what some people like would think is that is saying that's why you can't that just have one God can be both male and female in one it's, instance. It's being attracted to something. So you're saying community. in order for a compass to work, it needs north and south negative and charges, and negative and positive charge. Like, yeah. In order for it to point into a direction, right? Yeah. Is that what you're saying? Yes, because I, the but they are because in our society the nowadays, itself they are is negative charge or opposite charge than the north point in the What if that's all you need? Yeah, scientific possibility. What if it, that's so why the actual instrument you're using is telling you a direction? What if that is the negative would be for procreation So, to have both male and female? what you know I'm what saying is, where a woman doesn't if we're pointing here, anymore, and, a man an opposite a charge of equal force and then even has to be here. Even so further, would be, we just why have test have tube be? babies and... Well, I'm, I'm trying to say the instrument no you're using is always pointing towards the positive charge. So why would you need this opposite negative charge and congruence with the positive? Why would you need both if the instrument you're using is the actual negative charge? What's north and negative, let's say, like the positive and negative line up. So then I need that the magnet is in the middle of the compass. So I need one side to be positive and one side to be negative. And then the compass will write itself because like signs will not attract. But what what is this image? Mm -hmm. Why are these two images not compared? They're trying to say from this like, date, is that, is that 1927 that, versus 1997, the difference of when this was like first those, presented. Those it was first presented in 1927. The, the Earth, the way they say it looks. The way they say it looks? Yep. That was the first. This is not even a picture. This is just... No, we, actually, we can't, we can't create this is something they create out of nothing. This is, that's so this not is actually, that's that's actually a model. This, that yeah, this is yeah, within that's, us. And, and then they say this one is a, is actually so an image. They say that's an image, but not a picture. Are still using the picture is something taken by a camera. To then right. act like we're God. The difference is the way it looks. How does it look different to you? Well, this one is creating life. I understand. Fully rendered. But they Much, like, they had a lot of limitations. Level. The first rock right, so was wasn't until thirty six. Right. So this model is close enough to this image. Right? 
No, we're trying to say that between this period true, of time, if they actually knew, because we didn't land on the moon in 1927, as they say, even though there is no we and we have not landed. Things. When was the first satellite? And do things that we're not supposed to do. When was the same? I don't know. When was it? Um, what was well, it does, but then oh, it goes against the rebellion no. spirit. It was Russia, satellite? right? Yeah, first satellite. Which would be being before the moon. Yeah, yeah it was part of the Two? I don't know. No, no, no. This is a rendering supposed to be what this actually is. This is a model of actually before we, before, yeah, before they knew. You don't think that they knew? Okay. So how did they, how did they think it was going to be this before they even saw what they said that they saw? Even though they didn't see it. I think that they, I think they discovered the roundness centuries before. I think they're using calculus and other math theories to know its rounds and to know the general placement. Because, yeah, first they had flat maps, then they're like, the world is round and other mathematical formulas. So then they have this mock up, they insert, you know, North America, South America, respectively, where it's at. And then, so I'm asking you, what calculations, what calculations gave them the idea that it could be? So what calculations could do that for you? Let's say they believe it. So, but why do you believe? It? I believe it because of calculus, because of like charting the stars. Like they have this math. Yeah. Because they presented it to you, so you believe it. No, because no, the math makes sense. Like the theorem. The math. So math is creates reality. No, I think math backs up reality. Yeah. So if I had, if I had two water bottles in front of me, mm -hmm. and then I'm just saying this is on paper as a math equation. There's two water bottles in front of me, and then someone took three away from me. How many do I have left? I mean, you don't have any. Yeah. But it, on paper, it would say negative, negative one. one. Right. But that doesn't create reality because reality is I only had two. I mean, you owe them a water bottle. If you took three from you. So, so what? I, so what I'm trying to say. <laughs> so, but these two water bottles still exist in the world. Yeah. Right. So, so yeah. I'm trying to say that things that are written down in math doesn't actually prove reality. Sure, sure it does. If if I have five dollars, right, and you're the IRS, and you say I owe ten dollars, and I give you my five dollars. You still want that extra five dollars, right? That doesn't just erase from reality, right? Yeah, but I'm not negative five. Yeah, I'm negative five. I owe you five dollars. You're using money which doesn't exist in the first place. All right. The concept of as we have agreed as money. Exists. I'll give you. I have. But I have an oranges, and you are the IRS, and you want ten oranges. I still owe you five oranges. If you choose to give them those oranges. Right. Right. So where where are you all at right now, though? The only thing I think about this is that the rendering and the model, I don't think it's ever for scientific purposes. Like I think this is a movie's promotion, and I think it's like, it's called predictive programming. No, I know they weren't doing that. Like this isn't before really? Metropolis. Yeah, they didn't do psychological warfare they, in America. That's different like from MK Ultra. Psychological warfare from any country or entity. I think it's different from promotional gear for a movie. I don't think this is supposed intended for scientific purposes. That's so you feel movies are are like strictly enter for entertainment purposes only? No, just the movie that this comes from. No, no, no. That's that's before all movies from Universal Pictures. What movies before any movie that Universal Picture produces is at that time. Is it, you're not were they, the were they producing scientific documentaries? No, the year was 1927, and that's right. when they started to give out to the public the ball earth idea, before they even had the technology to go there. Right. And they showed that before, like a movie trailer, they showed that before any movie that was made in Hollywood. I'm trying to understand it's what It's called you predictive programming. What, what do you mean by predictive programming? Well, they do things over a period of time for social acceptance of something that will happen in the future, so it's it's less shocking for the public to experience. I have a question. So to me, that's something like vaccines. Like you Show me a it. movie where they projected vaccines 20 years ago, and then now vaccines is a problem now. No, I'm saying like before, before like in the original, and they're like, vaccines are the idea. That, like That's like sci-fi then. 
there's futuristic things that have been done in the 1930s and 40s of sci-fi that we're gonna, you know, they're like, wouldn't it be cool if we had this and that? And then, like, you know, six years later, now we have like, like they did. Yeah, phones. right. But I don't think. That's exactly predictive programming. They were in the 40s or, making movies about going to outer space before you could even go to outer space. Mars, right. aliens, and stuff so like that's that. that's either predictive programming or that's using imaginative fantasy world to talk about real issues that are happening. But that's not a real man. issue. How do you verify the moon landing? You mean verify? I don't... How, do you, how, how do you prove you, it to yourself how do you that prove it? they actually did it? How do you know it? Is it because of what they presented to you? I mean, I guess my question is... What I'm they saying, have like, have not? you gone there? Like, how, no, how do you know? I don't plan to go to the moon. Just based on but you believe they I landed mean, on the moon, right? Yeah, I believe, like, as a society, the moon's been landed on. Okay. And I believe they've seen other planets through satellites, other exploration tools, and outside okay. of our solar system as well. So I guess my question is for you, no offense, and I don't want, I don't want you to leave by me asking you this... Why are you still here? I'm trying to figure out what you guys have to gain from flat Earth. I've always wondered what the flat, you know? how flat they're supposed to be. Like, is it supposed to be like a disc, shelf? You mean like a shape or like, what do you mean by how flat it has to be? I mean... Is it paper thin? You know, is it like a 90 degree angle, 25? Because y'all don't agree it's round, so is it like this disc? This type of flat, or I mean, it, we do have mountains and hills and valleys, right? So, what's the deepest of those? Well, because there's trenches too. So Russia there's... has allegedly dig eight miles deep, and that's as far as they have went, and that's as far as anyone has claimed or stated they have went. So, is it? It's only eight miles deep. That's the lowest it goes. Well, but they're portraying to you that there's a center, like a core. Core. So is there not a core in the flat earth thing? I'm trying to say, how do we actually know and how can you verify that they know that there's a core if they only done eight miles? Do you know the circumference of this ball here that they present? But oil comes out much lower than like eight miles down. How do you know yeah. that? I'm a chemical engineer, so it's like you drill it. Yeah, but you didn't but do you that. You're not drilling oil, are you? They're giving you, they're giving you data or things from a book, and you're right. you're I there mean, to there's, learn, there's, like to study it. There's some, but that doesn't prove that you did it to know. There's some oil, you know I mean? and, like so everything, everything that we know is only through experiential knowledge. Yeah, but no, think, like but, but think about who is presenting it to you. Right. But you're you're trust you're the the problem is we back then we trusting them without understanding why they're presenting it to us. Because we're thinking in our minds, why would they lie to us? So Even of course if it's they're from gonna multiple sources. No, what if they wanted you all to believe something to, so you can all think the same way? Doesn't mean it's necessarily true. So multiple true. like governments, groups of people. That's what you're saying, like as the collective thing. So a collective world, yeah. Okay. You're saying like collectively, every government wants us to believe that the Earth is round. As like a joke, like what, what do they gain from that? No, what if they want you to be at a certain mind level thinking compared to their level? Because why are they in control of you already? It's because they want to stay in control. So why would they give you why would they Yes, why would they give you exactly all their information to you as a common folk being born into this world? Why do you deserve all that information? So, so why this keeps the status quo. Right. So eventually you would overtake them if you knew exactly what they know. So why would they give you that information? Or would you go along with them and then enslave everybody else along with them? Like, do you really think you're that good to overtake them and say, Hey, everybody, this is what's really going on. Let's all join together and unite and help all the black, whites, Asians, Mexicans, and everything, regardless of what color you are and race or sexual orientation, let's take over. Or would you get entrapped in their thought life and be like, Wow, that's a really nice house. That's a really nice car. You guys live up really nice. Yeah, I'll help deceive all these people. So you have to be chosen to be a leader or to be made aware. You go through certain processes, handshake clubs and whatnot. There are secret societies out there which are very blatant right in front of you, in your face. 
So why hasn't anyone taken like a boat from the coast of uh, South America to the North Pole? What if they actually did? How do you know they did it? I mean, can you do that? Or I'm saying like... I mean, yeah, I can get like 50k and do it. And you verify it and you come back to me. Because I have yet to see anybody who walks around the lake do that. People can barely go to another country. I have don't have the money, the resources to do that, man. If you got fifty thousand dollars to do it, we can't just. I mean, how many people are on the flat Earth Society? You guys can like. We're not a, okay, so you're already saying flat Earth Society, right? And that's probably a NASA-run organization to make you think that it's a disc floating out of space, accelerating at nine point eight meters per second squared to create gravity. How is gravity? And that's a government organization, my man. What is, so, what is gravity? What is it? Yeah, that's good, good question. I mean, like, I'm asking you, I have an understanding of what I think it is, but what do you think it is? Uh, buoyancy, density, and electromagnetism. You know what electromagnetism is? That kind of goes back to the North and South. Pole. It's an understanding of the ether and the electricity that's in the air. And okay, why so things, and, I'll stop and, real quick. and for gravity mm -hmm. to fall, I am resisting the fall of this Pez dispenser, right? Yeah. So, show me gravity at work right now. Can you show? Can you demonstrate it? Yeah, drop the pencil. Yeah, exactly. I gotta but drop it, right? So I am the medium of which I'm holding the pressure, right. of which holding this to not be able to observe gravity. But when I let it go, it falls to the ground, right? right. But that's where it I came mean, look, from. Look at the look at the fluff in the sky. Yeah, those are clouds. No, I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> but I think what you're talking about medium is the air. Like the air. Like the air yeah. So this weighs more than the air that is around it. Right, but I think the force when you hold it, the force that you're putting on the dispenser is greater than the force of gravity. So, so then, how do you differentiate between what is the force and then what is the density of the air and the medium of which would make this float? Because you can't make your backpack float, right? Yeah, I think density is how packed the mass is in volume. So this would fall faster than the air versus the water. Because water is like harder to swim, harder to move water than in air. Water is denser in air. Yeah, so if we were underwater, right? If we were in water, and I was to let something go and it floats up to the top, then what is that called? That's buoyancy. Right. So why is it then that medium? Is, are we not in some kind of a, for lack of a better term, liquid type of an environment right now? Because there's water vapor in the air, right? Yeah. Okay, so outer space is technically the lack of water vapor. Right. And when you, yeah, and so if you remove water vapor, what happens? The air temperature becomes much, much lower, right? Wait, why yeah. Would, why do, why does the okay. So how do you have a waterless environment, which is called outer space, next to our environment without a solid barrier? Have you verified the grav the the? Yeah, I mean you can go to the top of the mountain. You're you're just lacking water vapor though. Go up high. Can you go up high enough to experience a water vaporless environment? So if. If you, well, if you can, can agree, if, if you they say, to, can you really though? Let's be real. Can you? Seventy-two percent. You would die. Of you I mean, can you show me a video of them this testing order. a so, suit which can protect said, a person from a vacuum? Where, where does it yes. hurt? No, there's if not. Seventy-two percent. We can create vacuums. You cannot create a one hundred percent vacuum. I work in an environment. We've never seen it in this world, right here in this environment. You cannot create a one hundred percent vacuum which is completely water vaporless. Ever. I'm, what is I've, gravity on Earth? Is, on Earth? Like, yeah. Show me a vacuum that is naturally recreating. Let's say... I don't think they're natural yeah, but I'm just saying, things outside, outside of space. Here, in this reality. Outside of space. No. So how so do verify you know space? what name they gave it or whatever it Can could be? Space? And so how do you know? <laughs> so then that makes it true then, right? Yes. I think space that's is that's really illogical. From this perspective, no, it's from illogical space, to say that we never many things water, pointing toward these facts and saying, saying nah. You never no, somebody space. else is pointing to those facts never. for you and you're appeasing well, to their confirmation bias. What is this the first example? Uh, now you're back to motive again. Power structure. Now you're motive. Now you're back to motive again. What if they're hiding a creator? Do you believe in God? God the Father? Okay, did you know that in the Bible it talks about many times of a non-rotating plane? I'm not Christian. I'm not Christian. Okay. It's only portrayed in movies. So you read the Quran? No, he's not religious. You're spiritual? So how can this... So I'm asking you, how do you feel in your heart? How do you know that it's actually involved? So... 
But why do, why go back to motive? Why not look at the evidence of which an Earth could be flat and level and non-rotating? I don't see any of it. So you don't see the sun moving. Do you feel us moving? How big is the sun? Like what else? How big is it? Wait, eight hundred and forty-six thousand miles in diameter. Do you believe in conservation of energy? But I've seen. Yeah, how does the sun's heat travel through a water vaporless environment and then create heat on Earth? This fluid foundation here. Can't happen. We can prove it. Can't happen. So why is the water falling off the edge? What do you mean it says there is a can't happen, man. The the sun and the moon just so happen to be the same size and diameter. Because they say okay, space goes on infinite, right? Yeah. So why know. why do I have to yeah. explain that to, to show that to, well, you're using not. that to prove ball Earth? Yes. Well, what How? If this is just the trade as the sun an idea. is so on a massive we, scale, so the and the moon is smaller than the sun. How is it able? My evidence is water. Why, why are because those able still, to be round no has ever and the earth that not. water curves and That's it's illogical. Space. That's like saying, why are the pool ball spheres and the pool tables flat? Like, and it is like, the exact same well, thing. So if that's the case, like, if the earth is large enough, how big is it? And it actually Let's look it up. Yeah, let's do it. Let's, let's see what go, let's see what Google it, your God says. Well, I've seen the sun go from the sun rises and then you hold it and it's a set and then that's the movement tracking it across. Okay, so where is the outside force? It's 24,901 miles, right? In the circumference? And just under 8,000 miles in diameter. So you like maths, right? So you're saying in space there's static electricity. Due to your radius, you can create an algorithm and an equation to find out over a body of water that we can see things too far. So why should we just assume... So at your tangent point on the top of your ball, Earth, which everybody believes they live on, because they are the perspective of being on top of the ball, right? Over a distance from A to B, over a body of water, you should not be able to see an object that's 1,600 feet tall. Because it should be below you, below the curvature of the Earth. And we can still see things over a body of water. Look it up, man. I, I don't, I mean, but like, give me a name. Uh, you can look up, for example, the Chicago skyline, for example, that's 56 miles. So, where can you see the Chicago skyline from, where it would disprove this? Over the Mich Lake Michigan. So, you can see the Chicago skyline from Lake Michigan. You can see it from shoreline to shoreline over Lake Michigan at 56 miles. Should I say... So, that's 56 miles. How tall is the Willis Tower? I have no idea. I don't even know what the Willis Tower is. It's a Sears Tower. If there's only uh, so one thing, there must how, be a how far Do you want to take a picture of this so you can have a better comprehension wait, wait, of what's no, going on? I'm okay. How far you is don't like want, Michigan? You don't want... This is no, math, right, okay? This is... is we have to... We I'm appeasing to you yeah, because you believe math is I see, reality. I see yeah. various yeah. numbers yeah. and yeah, signs. that's why you should take... I encourage you to take a picture of it. But there's no back... There's no, like, proof as to what this math means. It's called the curvature calculation, and all of your scientific community agree that this would be the equation if given the radius of your ball Earth that you believe you live on. So the circumference is... 24,901 miles, if you have a basketball which is tangible in front of you, you can measure it, right? So then you can use that basketball to find out what the curvature drop would be, because it's a sphere, and that's what we're using right here. This is already incorrect, because I thought it was this way Yes, it is. It's very, by, by the oblate spheroid that you believe you live on, it's very, very minute. And I was thinking, uh, what, what is it going to have to do with my what life? I've seen. What, what, does it um, what have you seen? You haven't seen anything. Right, really You've never seen this knowledge. before in outer space. Do you know you what I'm saying? Seen this yeah, before. So, I know water lays yeah, level and flat. What made me curious Not when, when it's I found going out, in a circle. When I actually Show me. Watch the video. Okay. Can I have one of water bottles? Wait, so Not if you're going to waste it. I'm going to drink half of it. No, you can go buy your own and waste it and show me an So you don't want me to show you? I was pretty much always... Show me, man. Show me what? Centripetal force. Yeah, yeah, Centripetal so. force? Yeah, you're here on Earth. I, I saw a video on YouTube. Show me that in a vacuum. Actually, it questioned what I believe, and I actually thought that, about that. But that, has, that do doesn't prove you live on a ball Earth. Spin the water bottle, man. Spin the water bottle? It's okay, yeah, do what? No, no. Take out a little bit of water, spin it around, uh -huh. and watch the water pool up on the sides. Okay, so show me that doing that on the ball Earth. Why does heat rise? <laughs> so you have. I'm sure you can center of gravity, gravity, right? <laughs> a large, massive force in the center of Demonstrate it right here. Show me. You know, if I'm maybe not God, it's less than And so, so this is about creation. No, it's not. Yes, it is exactly about creation. You're believing you live somewhere that you've never verified yourself. So if there is. 
if there is fire in the middle. You have never seen the Earth from outer space in this perspective so before, have you? Like have you seen the, 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 the tilt of the Earth, earth in outer space? Yeah. This is my theory. Basically, you, no, I haven't, but I know water lays level and flat here in this reality. So what if and the only way that you can tell me that water <laughs> conforms to the exterior of a shape is, is by you. Show me. Demonstrate. It'll fall off. It won't stick to it. It won't stick to it. Because the water weighs more than the air around it and it will fall to the ground. This is, this is not a joke. Now let's say that that sphere is not is that what you think? You're in a religion. You're in a religion. Oh, yeah. No, you are. Do you ever go on YouTube? Yeah, I I would love for you to just stop by and check out my more of my information. Yeah. It's just hilarious, bro. Yeah. <laughs> you are in a religion yeah. because you can't verify what you're right. telling me. You can only come up with stories that you read when you were a child and then regurgitate things from other men that you haven't talked to. I've told him five different experiments. But you haven't demonstrated them. Here's a bottle of water right here. Demonstrate it right here on camera. Yeah. I'm going to get something. I gotta go. Thanks for the water. Have a nice afternoon, man. Alright, anyway, that's cool. 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 Why do you have bananas? Because I like to eat bananas. Is that okay? <laughs> 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 what do you think about that, man? Woo! <laughs> I don't know, Josh. It is what it is, right? That's where they're at right now. But Having fun. Yeah. Yucking it up with the normies. Trying to make fun of us. So when did that guy leave that was talking about um, Jesus being homosexual? I didn't even want to say those words. I'm glad you so do something like He did like something. I wanted yeah. to ask why did he want to use the name Jesus? What made him want to use as if how people blaspheme that he can't even think outside of what he's been taught. He's super programmed. And then Well, glad that you could handle them for a while. Thanks. Appreciate that. I mean, it didn't sound like when I was kind of like listening to him and then listening to you guys. I was just like, you're not going to get anywhere with these people. Too lost. And the girls, I wanted to just, I didn't even, I didn't yeah. even just really step in and say, well, if you think this is a joke, then, I mean, I don't know what you're trying to get from me, you can just, you don't have to be here. Yeah. I should just cut to that. Mm -hmm. But it seemed like one of the other ones I was watching, I don't the glasses. Well, one thing that you can do is just identify the one that will listen, and then call that spirit out. And say, hey, this one, this, she sounds like she wants to listen, and you don't, so I'm going to focus on them. And then that just convicts them, and then they just roll with it after that, you know what I mean? But, you know, so like what Jesus did, Jesus called out the spirits for what they are, and you need to just, that's how I just roll, is I just call the spirits out for what they're trying to be like, and... Because even though, like, they might not agree, one spirit might be more interested in listening than another. And then, then you're singling that person out. And then they'll walk away and even just saying that, they'll think like, oh, you're different. You're not really with us anymore, are you? Yep. All day to be fooling around. No, because there's more people who you could talk to. Right. And, and there were more people coming up, too. Right. Uh, I'm speaking as the, the two group that was the black girl, like, yep. and a black girl, and a black guy, and then another group came up. And just, I moved on. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it, Josh. It's just more experiences, just all it is. It's going to keep going. Day one. I 
I don't know. I'm used to it because I went to school with another Josh, and I played. I was <laughs> in tennis. I was in tennis club with him, or whatever you want to call it, for four years actually. And I, I was actually trying to help him to put a spin on the ball, backhand spin. Why do you have bananas? Because I like not? to eat. She should have asked. Why do you have water? Because I, I'm a human. <laughs> what do you? What? I don't, you don't, I don't have to bow down and act like some frail person. Why do you like bananas? Oh, well, I really like bananas. They're just really tasteful and so scrumptious. I don't have to tell, I don't have to, like, what kind of response was she expecting? I can just stare at her. Yeah. Was going. I, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> and then I was oh. actually going to say, well, if you want one, we can possibly offer you one. No, it was just like, and that guy would just wanted to waste water with centrifugal force by yeah, spinning it around. Yeah. What is that? That doesn't prove you live on a ball, dude. <laughs> I say you're in a religion. No, no, he's not religious. It's like, yeah, you are. You believe government is your god, dude. Like, what part of that do people not understand? Right. And I keep saying, can you prove to me that there is something in this world that is actually formed in the sphere and contains water on the exterior. Constantly recreating itself. They believe they live there and they have never seen it. I, I just don't understand. I keep saying the same thing. I said it to the girl twice. Same girl. Huh. Sooner or later we'll be done with this. And then everyone will get what they want. And they want the ultimate deception. They want to be lied to. Hey, there's a guitar man. Yeah, he came back. Maybe he might want to take out his guitar. They want to be lied to. I'm sorry? Is the sun flat? Is the sun flat? Yeah, I don't know. Because isn't the sun supposed to be round too? Supposedly. Like, I don't know what or you like, mean. Is the sun, so the sun is supposed to be like a sphere as well. Is the sun flat? Who told you that? The same people who told me that the earth was, or the earth was a sphere. Okay. So, so why don't you just believe flat? them? Like, what do you need us to verify whether something is or isn't? Oh, I was just asking your opinion on it. You just want to know if we think it is. Yeah, you guys are sitting here. With a we are, but flat. we also don't like to be mocked and ridiculed. Oh, we're not trying to mock you. I'm genuinely just asking what your opinion on Okay. Is. What if it's just a disc in the sky? So you also have to What if it's just a disc in the sky? I don't know what it is. Have you been up there to verify it? Oh, that's why I'm asking. I'm I haven't been up there either, right? Okay. And so, if if you just take what like government says is true, then that is your god, and then you believe them, and then you are in a religion because scientists are only the only ones that can help you understand your reality. And no offense, don't take this to offense. But it makes if it you start simpler. A sentence off with no offense. It's typically it probably and then will you be. Cancel out and then you shouldn't say it. Okay, but then I'll say it anyways because it's free speech, right? But if they are your god, then scientists are the only ones that can give you your uh, reality to you. So then you can continue to hang out with your friends, and it just makes life easier. Because then you don't have to critically think about what you were taught in school at in fifth grade. Because then now you're having to re be reintroduced to what you were taught, and maybe your whole entire life. It has been a lie because you think you live somewhere that you've never verified yourself. And now you're a critically thinking adult, right? You have that capability to, to verify things yourself and choose to believe other men who typically lie. So what proof men do you... Lie? Yeah, men and women are prone to lie than tell the truth. I was lied to. I, I was lied to that. too, yeah. I so, used to believe that. I had that on my PS3. The same logic. So, so, okay, and then stars. Are those just like rocks? That's what they're supposed to be, right? Or, supposed to be, allegedly, right? Yeah, but what do you... But if you actually were to Google what outer space is, it would say it's, it's matterless. It contains no matter. Yeah. So how can something like Mars, which is matter, which is a planet, be in outer space and exist in outer space when technically it's called matterless but they're just lights in the sky they're just lights right yeah. 
And so if you were to get optics or whatever to see what those lights are up in the sky, you would actually see that they have a resonance frequency to them and they, vi and they, they show a particular light to them which is unique to each one of them, like how I look different than you, and there will never be anybody who looks like you. So there are no lights in the sky that look similar to each other. They all have their own certain resonance to them. But what are they? Um, I think that they're lights that are in a liquid um, type of medium, and they have their own resonance to them. So if they were to come down into our environment outside of that environment, I think that they would appear to be human and they would look how they look to them, you know. So kind of like there's a star out there that matches you? Um, not like an identical, like mirrors. Yeah, I see like what you're saying. Mirror, it's kind of like mirrors people, but not like identical. Like not, a human not form? Not like you would look, yeah. Like yeah, it would present itself in our reality and in human form because that is the, the foundational creation of what is the superior being, is a human being and human consciousness. Do you ever go on YouTube? Yeah. Okay. I talk about this, like, all the time at the lake. And I don't mean to sound, you know, abrasive or anything, but... You know, this is a very, very, very challenging topic for a lot of people. And it sounds, you know, like we should have already settled this, but if this was settled science, honestly, I have much, much better things that I want to do than sit here and share this information, but because the three of us feel passionate enough to instead set up a barbecue or play volleyball, and no offense to that, that's that's fun to do, but sometimes in our free time, this is what we choose to do. Okay. So, Thanks for talking. Yeah, I appreciate you listening. Hope you have a nice day. <laughs> oh, yeah. But... But you gotta give it back to him. Now oh, that girl with the glasses is saying Mars is flat. Mars is flat too, right? Um I don't think nothing about flat You say you don't think nothing about it? Yeah, I know, I can see but this shit starts fading away. Okay, right on ma'am. No. I heard about that though. Okay. Awesome. Are you broadcast? Eventually. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, but I, I, I know how about it. I heard about that. Okay. A lot of Christian people are talking about it. So, okay. what, what do you think about it then? Uh, I think nobody's ever proved uh, that the world is circle, but there's two different theories, you know. Circle like a disc? Yeah, you can't prove it that I'm on a flat ground, I'm standing here right now. You know what I mean? But at the same time, how does the uh, sun and everything move? Who taught you the sun and everything moves a certain way? Well, why are we changing things now? After Who? so many 200 Who? years, why are they changing things now? You don't want to answer my question? Who told you that the sun moves a particular way? Nobody. You are, just, you from the you, earth? are you from out there? You just gave me some kind of demonstration with your hands. Dude, there are the people that... I'm telling you the information. It's not my information. Well, okay. I, I asked you, what do you think? Though? What do I think? Yeah. I think that the world's... Wow, that looks better. Like, sphere? Like a sphere? Yeah, so why does this move? Well, I'm still asking you why do you think it is the way you think it is. I think it's wrong. No. Uh, I don't know. But I'm who told a, you that? Too far. Too far in. Yeah. So you're in a religion then? Am I in a religion? Yeah, I'm in a You religion. are in a religion yeah. because Baptist. you... Baptist. No, 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 no. Follow me here. We're not talking about God. Okay. Okay? We're talking about you trusting in man, told you that you live somewhere you've never verified yourself. That's testimony in a book, science books, in school. That's no different than going to seminary school and reading the Bible. Are you recording right? me? So... Are you recording me? Yeah. Oh, fuck. Sorry, Sashi. <laughs> so that's too much for you, huh? I don't know. I have no time for this. I gave a party and I talked about this. All right. <laughs> to get drunk. So you went to the party. Right? 
Show me the law. Show me the law. Show me the law. Walk away. Is he going to remember because he said he's going to get drunk? Why does he even care about that? Show me the law.